also KFAS, they have a, 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 a role in this educational yes. panel or educational file. Mm -hmm. So for that reason, we welcome Mr. Abdul Aziz Ali. He is one of the managers of KFAS Academy. So good morning, dear Abdul Aziz. Good morning. Good morning, Dr. Abdullah and Amal. How are you? How is everything with you? Alhamdulillah, all well. Uh, a very nice sunshining day to start a sunshining program. Great, great. I, I think, you, Mr. Abdul Aziz, you are doing a great job. And the KFAS, like usual, they are participating in, in this uh, type of, of, uh, of files, and one of them is education. Can you tell us uh, about what's this academy we heard about it and, and when it started and what it's for, all these things, please? Sure, ha happy to do so. Um, so the academy is uh, basically one of the newest initiatives or recent initiatives by KFAS. As, uh, as you're aware and as you said, KFAS, and we've seen several initiatives over the years. And uh, this particular initiative was really to drive digital learning. Uh, as you said, digital learning and e-learning is a very important element of today's life. And uh, so they wanted to endeavor down here. And, uh, we, we set up the business back in 2017. And really what we wanted to focus on is how do we produce high quality, affordable courses for Kuwait and the region itself to really improve the educational availability and tools for the, for the learners. Um, the, way we, the way we focus on this is we developed, we focused on the courses themselves uh, and the experience of the courses with three main areas, which is the user experience, uh, designing for the audience, if you will. On top of that, the methodology, uh, focusing on engagement, interactivity, uh, the pedagogical aspect of things. And finally, and very importantly, is contextualization, understanding that obviously in the region we have different learning methods, we have uh, relevance within the area, and so we really try to contextualize the content. Yes, we bring it from international markets or the region itself. We make sure the learners can use that knowledge that's transferred. And uh, through that, we focused, we focused originally on two main pillars, which was the higher education, uh, your university students, uh, K-12 students, and so forth, to really uh, encourage learning through, uh, through them, and as well as that, the professional development. That's anyone in the private sector, government sector working Working for Marvelous, Doctor uh, Mr. Abdul Aziz Ali. We are really interested in how did you determine the courses in this academy, and can anyone enroll in it or register? Sure, uh, very good question. So, primarily, the, the uh, courses that are uh, that are chosen and uh, you know uh, built are determined heavily on market studies that we do. From the very beginning, we've always been uh, research based, so we've conducted yes. several. Yes, sorry. I, I, Go ahead. Yes. Uh, I, I think, uh, uh, my dear uh, Abdul Aziz, uh, this, this is a, a perfect subject and uh, at the same time is a crucial subject mm -hmm. uh, because we are, you know, knowing that the, the education strategy is really very high and uh, it needs a lot of, of uh, dedicated, qualified teachers. So, uh, how did you select those teachers, and who taught, you know, who teaching those uh, people, you know, or, or uh, talented people? And is there a requirement or qualification for the teacher? From where you get them? It's a big, so long question. So, no, no, and, and a very valid one. It's a very good question, and uh, uh, happy to answer. This. Before we go into how we select the teachers, I would like to inform that. Um, we kicked off the academy believing that we need to have control over the quality of the content and mm -hmm. the experience. So we actually have a full team in-house uh, of programmers, instructional mm -hmm. partners, animators, all within Kuwait developing these courses. And so everything is actually built within Kuwait in-house. The only thing we don't have is the content. Um, and we work with what we call subject matter experts, okay. as you mentioned, teachers to really make sure we get the best content from a wide range of uh, experts within the region, within Kuwait, and uh, internationally. And the selection is based on several processes that we have, from obviously uh, analyzing the learning objectives we have, um, the database and network that we've established over the years, as well as the KFAS network, which is well established over the many years of operating. 
and uh, making sure that the subject matter experts is, you know, to a CV, uh, understand what we're trying to achieve. We align ourselves. We look at partners rather than short term. We always in long term mindset to establish these content resources, and this is how we uh, go about selecting. Great, and uh, Mr. Abdelaziz, uh, I know these subjects are really specified, so who teaches them and how did you select the teachers and what are their skills requirements? So if we like, would say uh, you've got so many subjects, do you uh, just hire teachers from the Ministry of Education or are they just collaboration with you from KFAS? Uh, actually, um, as I mentioned before, it's, it's, a, it's a range of um, uh, teachers and subject matter mm -hmm. One thing that uh, we note in KPAS Academy is we build on self-paced. So it means we really focus on allowing the students or the learner to learn on their time in their, uh, mm -hmm. in their environment. They're not waiting for a live uh, webinar or a session that they join. So the teachers themselves aren't potentially available uh, online. It's working with them to establish the knowledge, the content. They need to prove uh, that they've got, you know, from a CV point of view, from their expertise, that they can match the learning objectives. And then from there, we, we go ahead and work with them to develop the content and the course itself. Uh -huh. I, th I, th I think really that uh, uh, Mr. Abdelaziz Al Ali, يعني, you did a great job. Thank Thanks, you sir. really for having you really in, in our episode today, your enlightenment for a lot of things regarding this academy. And we hope that the future is bringing us a, a, good, a good image of Kuwaiti uh, graduates, inshallah. Uh, we hope uh, that you fulfill the success, inshallah. And we wish you uh, a beautiful, really, timing with this academy. Thank you again, and we will see you, inshallah, in other episode in Sunshine Program. Thank you very much, Mr. Abdul Aziz Al Ali from uh, KFAS Academy, and uh, for all the things that you're doing and gonna do. I know you have got loads on the future goals of KFAS. Thank you very much.